Okay, so we were just outside in video 3T, and so now we're going to come in and we're going to look at um, some stuff. So we're based on video 3T, and you remember that we basically we had a corner flag here, we had a corner flag here, and I was somehow out here. So we're going to put myself out here, and the data from the data that we just took was um, I was 47 meters. Um, let's see, over here, 47 meters. Uh, at 167 degrees, 167 degrees, and then we were uh, 36 meters at um, 256 degrees. Okay, now this is a little bit confusing because uh, north is behind me someplace, uh, so we're going to say that this is zero degrees. And that's north, so that basically I was I was more or less facing south. And so if I was more or less facing south, this is 90, this is 180, and so uh, 180, so 167 is going to be 167 is going to be 77 more than uh, 90. So we're going to be in this direction. <clears throat> and we're going to be 47 in that direction. So why don't we call it, it should probably work out to make it um, double that. So that would be 94. <clears throat> so we're going to go 9.4 in that direction. And then label my vector 47 meters at 167 degrees. So now let's see 270, so that's 180, that's 270. So if we go 14 less than 270, 14 less than 270 is going to get me to there and I might run off the page. I'm probably going to run off the page. Uh, that would be 72. Oh, I'm not going to be quite off the page because I want to go 7.2 in that direction which is there. So that's going to be uh, 7 point, I'm sorry, 36 meters at 256 degrees. Okay, so now the question is if I'm standing at this corner post, what is the displacement of this post? Well, let's uh, do a little bit of math here. If we do 256 minus 167, I get 89 degrees. So that's 89 degrees. And now let's use a little law of cosines just because we're here and just because we haven't used it as much as we could have. So we're going to say, let's call this A, let's call this B, let's call this C, and so then this is angle big C. This is angle big A, this is angle big B. Okay, and we're going to go C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared plus or uh, minus 2AB cosine big C. So we're going to say C is equal to the square root of 47 squared plus 36 squared minus 2 
times 47 times 36 times cosine of 89. Okay. Doing that out, 47 squared plus 36 squared minus 2 times 47 times 36 times cosine of 89, close, close, 58.7. Okay, now in terms of uh, if I sort of double that, if I multiply that by 0 0.2, I, get, I should get 11.7 centimeters. So if I did this correctly, this line here on my graph should be 11.7 centimeters. And if you look, if you can see on YouTube, there's 11 right there, there's 12. I can see with my eye that it is 11.7 centimeters. So I'm good. Uh, now let's figure out what let's figure out what angle B is. So I'm going to say that sine of big B over little b is equal to the sine of big C over little c. And so I'm going to get that B is going to be the sine inverse of little b over little c times sine of big C. So that's going to be little b 36 meters. Little c, I just calculated it at 58.7 meters and then sine of 89 degrees and so we're going to get second sign of 36 divided by and uh, 58.7 times sine of 89, close, close, 37.8 degrees. So big B is 37.8 degrees. Okay. Now, remember that this, this direction right here, this line here, that's zero degrees. So we're kind of upside down and backwards right now. Um, this is 0, this is 90, this is 180, that's 270. So we're going to be somewhere, so in terms of a compass reading, we're going to be somewhere between 270 and 360. Well, now I know that if this is 180 and this is 167, I know that this angle right here is 13 degrees which means that I know that this angle here is 13 degrees so what I'm going to do is to find this bearing right here it's going to be 360 degrees minus this 13 degrees and then minus that 37.8 degrees And so 360 minus 13 minus 37.8 is going to be 309.2 degrees. So this is going to be right here. We're going to call it, uh, where did I find it? 58.7 meters. <laughs> 